Amazingly, there are still some people who don't believe that the price of XRP will reach double or triple digits in today's episode. Once again, I'm telling you now that it will happen. Completely having worked in the financial world for 10 years, I have seen it all. When I first learned about XRP, that's when I realized that this would eventually replace Bitcoin. Ladies and gentlemen, get comfortable because you will be incredibly bullish on today's episode. You heard me, right? David Schwartz, let me start by reminding you that I have been stating on this channel for a very long time that what these financial institutions are going to search for is the most liquid asset, and that will be the most appealing one, and when I say that they're all functioning, all together, this video will be the cherry on top. Simply listen to when David Schwartz discusses the size of the market and estimates its eventual size to be $150 billion, he is speaking here. In the upcoming months, coins will essentially become useless, so what do they really know? They're expecting a big move. Keep in mind the stablecoin legislation and everything that needs to be passed in this entire crypto ecosystem. The pipelines for MAA are closing, and this entire ecosystem is only a stablecoin. The market value alone will surpass $3 trillion. Keep in mind all of the projected figures. Grant you the right it will always be higher now. Consistently underdeliver locations where you how much do they know? They are withholding something from us. The easiest thing for me to notice, I believe, is stable cryptocurrencies, which currently have a market capitalization of about $160 billion. And the number is increasing so quickly that you can be certain it will become outdated in a matter of months. By the time you know in months, that amount will be outdated. By 2028, it's predicted to reach about $3 trillion, and I believe the following data to be the most significant. Keep in mind that I was discussing how popular culture was eroding. If everyone in the Bitcoin community agrees that Bitcoin is fantastic, then everyone in the cryptocurrency industry believes that it will eventually dominate. Is D5 considered by all to be the next big thing in the D5 space? In terms of non-industrious individuals, 97% of institutional investors believe tokenization will have a significant impact on asset management. They don't use Bitcoin. Who doesn't? DeFi, blockchain, and cryptocurrency enthusiasts are not what they are, institutional investors are. These are among the most conservative. People all over the world are correct when they believe that the technology we are developing will revolutionize their respective industries and have an impact on popular culture and the value of tokenized U.S. assets. Given that this is a new market, the 1.5 billion securities loan is likely a decent amount. Distinct by the time I leave this stage and, naturally, the increase of tokenized assets, $16 trillion is anticipated by 2030. It merely makes sense to enter these spaces if the tokenized spaces are where the investors will be or where the money will be, and they have to be the areas where the assets are. I believe that's probably going to be conservative. The assets will chase the money, and this will unlock a previously undiscovered aspect of the Internet of Value. Awaken. That figure, you know, will be out of date in a few months since a significant change is expected and the IMF is aware of how important XRP will be. Remember the size of these markets about the new global economy, I'll get to that in a second. Simply to give you a general idea, and this is only the very beginning. Possess feed wires worth $991 trillion in total. Alright, so that's the overall worth. Being transferred chips, $448 trillion FETI, we are not even considering the tokenized assets, which are real-world assets here being tokenized in this value. When Ripple first announced that they were going to release their USD back stable, we had $37 trillion, and Nacha Network, the clearinghouse, had $72 trillion. The IMF is talking about XRP and Ripple. Come on, folks. Thus, increasing XRP's usefulness and liquidity are the two main lessons to be learned from this. XRP was intended to be used by the native XRP ledger features, such as the decentralized exchange and automated market makers. As the asset of the bridge, furthermore, increased liquidity will be supported by using XRP in Ripple payments in conjunction with a reliable enterprise-grade stablecoin. 
and provide worldwide on- and off-ramps to meet the demand for cross-border payments on a large scale. Please keep in mind what the IMF stated above. They mentioned such and such platforms under the emergence of digital money in an article that was published in February of this year. All right, let's hear this conversion. A feature that allows for foreign exchange conversion and the conversion of payments made in various currencies against stable coins and unbacked crypto assets should be included in the platform.go, ahad, and destroy that, ladies and gentlemen. Similar to a button with RCH, everything is currently taking place. Joining forces with Ripple and indirectly collaborating with BlackRock to tokenize real assets, and we are now are you aware that the IMF is saying this? Platform needs to have a conversion mechanism to handle currency conversions and foreign exchange conversions. This is really amazing. Why are people blind to this? The IMF is aware that Thermocoin won't last. Awaken. And they created it extremely, it's evident that Tether raises concerns as well. This is from the IMF, and I find it incomprehensible that people fail to see it. This one is the world's largest stablecoin. Market worth, which has increased to over 100 billion from over 60 billion, may have exposed consumers to serious risks that raise questions about consumer and user safety. Insufficient details regarding the profile, and it is challenging to carry out a thorough examination of the systemic ramifications for the issuing entity of Tether due to the user's geographical locations. It is located in the British Virgin Islands and is mainly uncontrolled. Although Tether is based on the dollar, U.S. authorities have little control over the issuer is simultaneously unavailable to us households and businesses, and we are currently discussing the fact that everyone will want to use XRP. Observe and pay attention. Institutions are entering the cryptocurrency space, and we haven't even met you yet. As more money enters the overall ecosystem, things are going to become chaotic. It was made very evident by Ripple's Marcus and Fanger. That XRP will be needed for them to scale, and the most shocking thing is how he set this up a few months ago, how is Circle CEO, Jeremy Ayer, doing? The creator of USDC, the other stablecoin that is regulated and in use in the US, stated that they will need Ripple to scale their stablecoin first things first. We're going to use we can scale XRP globally, make tremendous progress going forward, and offer specific solutions to address this issue since the stablecoin from Ripple is paired with it. I believe we're getting very close. I mean that the USDC itself has seen transactions on the internet of over $3.5 trillion amongst its counterparts. Thus, let's try a scalable blockchain to improve it. Do you see the technologies that Brad's company, as you know, offers? Thus, to everyone who has said, you know, we make stuff up, let me just say that it has happened in the past and that you people deserve a big middle finger. Then, when the markets get very big, XRP will be used as collateral for their new stablecoin. They are going to. If they attempt to essentially give stability to their stablecoin by using XRP as collateral. Whoa, that will be big. Keep in mind that this was tested years ago. In fact, it was tested more than two years ago, before Ripple even made a formal announcement about its status. Similar to the DAO method, but with XRP as collateral. We then went to the whiteboard and created a design. And it functioned as a secondary chain that could accept assets on an XRP basis. Transfer it to the side chain, shift it over, and use it as collateral to create stable coins, Ripple's goal. They desired a coin that would be stable. That they could provide to their money transfer companies, money remittance firms, and other companies that use their rapid products. But that's what we mean when we talk about an enterprise. Great Corporation, you know, has been investigating stable coins for years. And another excellent example, as I've already informed you, they won't disclose every action they take publicly. And there are now so many undisclosed alliances within Ripple that final thoughts will be affected when the snowball effects start to accumulate. All I can say is, what a great time to be alive. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and those who seize it will reap substantial rewards. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, don't assume that you will receive universal basic income and that AI will become your boss. I am grateful to every one of you.
It's right in front of you. It's happening right in front of you now. It's just a matter of time until things really start to pick up. You guys are going to return soon. And declare that it will happen quickly since you know what you told us. It will happen quickly. Although it may seem like years when the market is dumping, as it has been doing for the last few days a week, it will only take a short while. However, once the markets start rising, they will rise much faster than they fall. All I can say is to get ready because one day you will wake up to find everything booming everywhere. There will be a delay in the onboarding of new clients, as well as announcements being made left, right, and center. Never forget that when the next generation of ordinary investors arrives. You should keep in mind that everyone listening in is prepared and has their on-ramps in place. You guys, Kentucky, and the exchanges you're using are fine to go, but let's say Billy recently became interested in cryptocurrencies and wants to download an exchange to submit. There will be a great deal of delay, people. He needs to purchase his ID and wait for it to be approved. I'm only beginning to all I'm saying is, be ready for 2018. Recall that Binance was being sold? Can they be prepared for thousands of dollars in accounts since Binance stopped taking new users? Will they be prepared for the upcoming surge of individual investors?